Since the trigonometric functions describe the relationships between angles and sides, they can be used for finding missing lengths in a triangle. So if you knew the measure of an angle and one side of the triangle, you could find the missing sides. Like, say if you were in a boat traveling away from a lighthouse and wanted to know how far from shore you were. Oh, come on. When would we ever need to know that? Uh, like right now? Oh, okay. Time to get to work. First, we need to list what we know. Well, we know the lighthouse is 60 feet high, and the angle from our boat to the top of the lighthouse is 36.87 degrees. So, let's fill in what we have. We have this angle here, and we know the height which in this case is the opposite. Now what are we looking for? We want to know how far our boat is. That's this side here, the adjacent side. Now let's look at our functions to see how we can use this information. So katoa. We have the opposite side and the adjacent side. This means we can use tangent. The tangent of our angle, 36.87 degrees, is equal to our opposite side, 60, over our adjacent side, x. Now it's time for some simple algebra. To get x alone, we first multiply both sides by x. Then we divide by tangent of 36.87. We end up with x equals 60 divided by the tangent of 36.87. Now it's time to plug it in our calculator. You have a calculator out here? Always prepared! Make sure your calculator is set to degrees, not radians. Then we enter 60 divided by tangent of 36.87, close parentheses, and there it is. Our length is 79.999, which will round up to 80. So we're 80 feet offshore. See? Pretty useful. How about this one? A plane takes off from the ground and has flown 1,300 feet. We know the plane is making an angle of 67.38 degrees with the ground. So how high is the plane? Well, we know that this side across from the right angle is the hypotenuse, and that's 1,300 feet. And the height of our triangle is opposite our angle. We'll label that side x. We have opposite and hypotenuse, which means we can use the sine function. Now we set up our equation. Sine of 67.38 is equal to opposite, which is x, over hypotenuse, which is 1,300. And now we just do simple algebra. To get x alone, we multiply both sides by 1300. Now we have 1300 times the sine of 67.38 equals x. To plug that in our calculator, we enter 1300 times the sine of 67.38, close parentheses. And our answer is 1199.99, which will round to 1200 feet. And that's it. Now you know how to use the trigonometric functions to solve for missing lengths. Remember, first list out what we know and what you're looking for. Then use the sides you have labeled to determine which function to use. And finally, use algebra and your calculator to solve for x. And that's how you use the trigonometric functions to solve for a missing side length.